Pearland and George Ranch at the rig in Pearland and multiple Princess Leia's ready for a Star Wars celebration. I love that. In the first quarter, George Ranch with a football, but Pearland causes a fumble to the Oilers' Derek Parrish with the recovery, and that would lead to a field goal, 3-0 Pearland. In the second quarter, George Ranch at the 12. Quarterback Antonio Jackson takes off on the scramble. He will fight his way into the end zone for six at 7-3 Longhorns. Later in the half, a miscue by George Ranch, a fumble, and Debian Renfro recovers at the Ranch 25. On the very next play, Davier Pinkston on the carry. He'll go untouched for the touchdown. Oilers up 10-7 at intermission. It's now 13-7 Pearland late in the fourth. Third and 20 for George Ranch, and Pearland's Pierce Tupa comes up with a big sack. The Longhorns near midfield. It's the final play of the game, but the Oilers' defense comes up huge. Chase Keesler gets the sack and ends the game. The Oilers win a defensive struggle, 13-7.